Last month, Ron showed you how to manually update your Chrome OS. It's not needed. It will update itself. I'm in the habit of checking almost every day to see if there's an update to the OS or the operating system. And when I do that, frequently it says it's up to date. Well, this morning when I did it, it said that I needed to do an update from version 85 to the version 86. There was an, a major update in the operating system. I want to show you a little bit on how I did that, and then let's go through some of the new things that are in OS 86, which was just released this past week, and you may have already up received it, or you will be getting it soon if you have a Chromebook. So to check, what we do is we go to our settings and we come down to about Chrome OS and you'll see right now it's saying that I could check for updates but it's showing the new version. I just want to show you how, remind you how we get there. Now I have a couple of screenshots that I'm going to show you what it looked like before. Obviously, I didn't record it during the update. When it finished the update, this is what I saw. It was the version 86. Now, here is where I checked for my updates, and it was 85. And I started the update, and it continued. And when it finished, it said I needed to restart. When I finished, I, w I checked again and it said it was up to date and I was in versions 86. So what's new in version 86? Let's go back to that screen. And about OS, if you'll see it says, see what's new. I've got some screenshots, but let's take a look at it live first. When you click on it, what's new with Chromebook? One of the things is you can turn your cursor to magenta or to other colors, red, and so on. And I'm going to show you how to do that. Then there's select to speak is getting better. Easier Wi-Fi access with Wi-Fi sync. And then quickly control your mic volume. These are the big differences in version 86 over 85. If you have an older version, it's time to do your update manually. I'm going to show you how to make changes with your cursor in this new update. What we're going to do is we're going to go to settings. You would think that when you come down, that you would go to device and it'll say mouse and touchpad. By the way, I have a mouse I'm using right now. If you don't have a mouse plugged in and operating, it's just going to say touchpad. If you have both, like I have right now, you'll see that it says mouse and touchpad. Let me show you a screenshot of what it looks like without the mouse. Okay, so you would think this is where you go to make the changes that we're about to do with the, according to the instructions that we saw on what's new. But what you really need to do is keep scrolling and go down to the advanced, click on advanced, and come down to accessibility. When you find accessibility, you'll see that there is a little arrow which means that there are more mem uh, menu choices and when we click that it will then open the accessibility features for as we scroll down for the mouse and touchpad. Notice that everything is turned off by default and the cursor color is black by default. So you can automatically click 
when the cursor stops. So if you move your mouse around, and then that's a feature that you can turn on under accessibility. You can show a large mouse cursor. Notice the size of my cursor. Well, if I go to and say, okay, I want to turn it on, it now makes it as large and you can adjust what size you want. And you'll see that it's getting smaller and bigger as we scroll up. So we're going to make it large. And as we continue to look down here, notice it says the cursor color now. This was not available in version 85, but is in the operating system version 86. So now when we click this, we can make it red, we can make it yellow, green, cyan, blue, magenta, or pink. I'm going to make it red. When I do, you'll see the hand is red. As I move up and move outside of the box, it's now showing me with a and I can still adjust the color of that red cursor to be very small or very big. And sometimes when it's real big, it gets in the way of things. So sometimes you may not want it that large. Highlight the mouse cursor when it's moving. If I click that and turn it on, now you'll see there is a circle around the tip of the arrow or the cursor. I can turn that on, turn it off. You can open uh, mouse touchpad device settings that brings us to the top of the settings where we'll go there in just a minute and then show navigation buttons and that's if you have uh, if you're in tablet mode so let's take a look at the other choices for your mouse you can change the you can change the buttons so if you have a left button and a right button you can swap them so that the left mouse button becomes the right mouse button, the right mouse button becomes the left mouse button. You can, enable, you can enable the mouse acceleration, and I have that on, which makes it fast. You can change the speed of your mouse, and you can reverse the scrolling. So if you, instead of scrolling up, it scrolls down. On your touchpad, there are some choices there. If you want to enable the tap to click, you hit turn it on. Uh, sometimes I turn it off because I have a tendency to touch the pad too much. And when I do, uh, it, uh, it does things I don't want it to do. You can enable tap dragging and I have that turned off. These are things you can experiment with and you can enable tap acceleration. And you can, the touchpad speed, you can adjust to be uh, faster or slower when you move your finger around it. And again, you can do the reverse scrolling with your touchpad as well. I don't have that turned on. I want to scroll down. So that's how you change the color uh, of your cursor. And now it's changed. So whatever I do on the screen, I now have a little circle showing me where I'm at. And it does fade away if I'm not moving my mouse or moving my finger on the trackpad. As soon as I start moving it, it shows up again.